my name is Greg Friedrich. Uh, the shop is called Gizmos. We're located here in Cedar, Minnesota. And uh, we're kind of uh, under the radar, keep everything pretty tight to the vest, uh, off the beaten path. You know, I grew up in the garage. There was always, always something being worked on, always wrenching on something. And it just really evolved into working for other people, for other shops and to the point where I just decided to start my own shop. This year at SEMA, we are gonna bring our 1960 Plymouth Fury wagon. Uh, this is an all steel car and is extremely modified. Well, starting from the front, the whole car is steel, including this front clip, and it is one piece. You know, we do have the body line in here where it looks like the hood comes up, but that's not operable anymore. We totally redid this whole grill. So now the headlights we shifted in and up. As you can see, it's got a giant Hemi in it. It's a 528 cubic inch Hemi built by Wheeler Racing Engines. It's fuel injected, naturally aspirated. All of our electronics are from AEM. The air scoop on top of the engine, that's actually called a bird catcher. And that's just one of those hot rod components that I had to have the car have. It, it, just, it just fit the look perfect, and I knew it had to be there. We've got our AFCO radiator in the front. That thing does a great job of cooling this engine, and big block Hemis aren't the easiest thing to cool. All of the suspension components are hand-built here at Gizmos, both front suspension and rear suspension. AFCO Racing built the shocks, the custom built shocks for this car. All of this, the components inside the car that could be hand built were. You know, so like your steering column, the seat, we always make a seat here, we don't buy seats. Then we've got our four lever Jeffco transmission. So each lever is a gear, it's got four gears in here, and behind that, is our gear vendor overdrive. House of Color hooked us up and took care of us with all the paint. So this is a color that's never existed before. And when you put this thing in different lighting, it just completely changes color. So you gotta go to SEMA. It's just something that is really part of having a shop like this. You gotta be there, you gotta see what's new. I can't imagine the industry without it. <laughs> if I won SEMA Battle of the Builders, it'd be amazing and it would be great for the all that was involved in the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah.